How do you ensure excellence and reliability in every project that you do? I make sure that we use trusted local vendors for materials. I also make sure that I spend time with the customer to see exactly what it is that they want so that we can carry the project out and they will be satisfied in the end. Welcome to Mastery Podcast, where we share a story of impact-driven entrepreneur to create that ripple effect of positivity. I am your host, Dr. Sass. Today, we have with us Tracy Melbourne. Tracy is a dynamic owner of T Melbourne Construction, and she had this remarkable journey, beginning with working in the mortgage and real estate industry. Then she pivoted during the hard times, and you create thriving construction business today. And welcome, Tracy. Thank you. It's good to have you here. It's great to be here. So, you know how to play the piano, yes, Tracy? Yes, I, I do. I can't yes, imagine I per, a person in the construction <laughs> industry. And when, when did you start it? Oh, wow. Actually, I started playing the piano when I was six years old. So um, the church that I belonged to did not have a pianist. And the they asked me if I wanted to learn, and they would pay for me to take lessons if I wanted to learn, but the stipulation was I had to play for the church. And, of course, my mom accepted. <laughs> so I started when I was uh, six, and I stopped when I was about 16, so I can read music, I can write music, and I can also play by ear. And to be honest with you, uh, playing the piano was my first journey into entrepreneurship because at 16, I was a piano teacher. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's yes. amazing. See, the, the seed was planted a yes. long time ago. Very early age. And can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you started T. Melbourne Construction? Oh, wow. My background is real estate. Mm -hmm. um, I've been in real estate, in the real estate industry since 1999. Um, I started out working for a mortgage company. Um, I worked for them for two years before I started my own residential mortgage company. In 2010, when the first pandemic of my lifetime hit uh, and the market crashed, I sold the company and moved away to Florida to accept a position as a CFO with another company. Didn't work out too great, <laughs> so I ended up coming back home. Uh, and in 2016, I got my real estate license, so I'm, I'm a realtor as well. Uh, in 2019, um, I started Freedom Business Solutions, which is a commercial mortgage company. The reason I started is because my niche was investment. Mm -hmm. So most of my real estate clients were investors, and they were having a hard time finding funding for their investment properties. And since that was my uh, line of work, mm -hmm. uh, I decided to open up a commercial mortgage company to help investors uh, f with funding for fix and flips, new construction, uh, and rental loans. When the last pandemic hit, which was COVID-19, um, in 2020, I just moved into uh, a new space, a new office space, and the bank put a freeze on money. So I was not able to lend. So I had to figure out a way to generate income because I had just moved into a new office space. At the time, I was a vice president of a BNI chapter. So I told my members that I was going to be offering handyman services. And I did that. And then they, the business was so good. And they started asking me to do things that required a license. So I figured out how to get a license. And T. Melbourne Construction was born. Beautiful. That, that was a, a journey yeah. you went through to pandemics. I, I, uh, you know, the, during 2010, um, that happened to a lot of people, right? Mm -hmm. Right. In in the industry, and to have that hit again in 2020, but 
you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> you have to figure out a way. So T right. Melbourne Construction was born. That's awesome. And let's talk about T Melbourne Construction a little bit because that's, that's why we're here today. What type of projects uh, do you do at T Melbourne Construction? T Melbourne Construction is a, a Class A general contractor. So we can do just about anything from residential uh, renovations, new bills, um, commercial renovations, commercial new bills as well. I can't tell just looking at you. I can't imagine you being out there in a hot hat. Even though on your website, was that your picture with a hot hat? That's actually my daughter. That's your picture. She looks just like me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a great picture. And I, I know at T. Melbourne, one of your values is excellent. How do you ensure that excellent and reliability in every project that you do? For one, I make sure that we use trusted local vendors for materials. And I also make sure that I spend time with the customer to see exactly what it is that they want so that we can carry the project out and they will be satisfied in the end. That's a great thing that you do because not every not every business owner would take the time. And especially with construction, you need that. You need that um, extra one-on-one -on -one time. Can you share with us a memorable story of one of your clients at T Melbourne Construction? Yes, I can. So I had a client. So... Team Melbourne Construction is a part of uh, a project with the city of Norfolk. So we are contractors. Um, the program is called Renovate Norfolk, and the other one is Strengthening Neighborhoods. So these are HUD-funded projects where if a homeowner needs work done to their house or some, some renovations, there are grants that HUD provide in order for them to get the work done. Um, the waiting list is really, really long. And once I had a client that had been on the waiting list for about five years. Wow. And when we went into the house, she didn't have a bathroom. She didn't have a kitchen. She had a kitchen, but there was no stove. There was no refrigerator because the plumbing was all messed up. And we went in there and we rehabbed her house. We did it in 60 days and she was ecstatic. And it just made me feel good to be able to come in and help her out because it was right after the holidays. So she wasn't able to have Thanksgiving dinner. She wasn't able to have Christmas dinner or anything like that at her house because it needed so much work. So it made me feel really good that we could step in and help her out uh, with her, with her home. And she was so appreciative and Yes, she and was very appreciative. You, you were telling me that uh, it, whenever you come by, she would give you vegetables. And oh, yes, <laughs> yes. So so that's actually another another client that's also in the program. And we actually just finished her project on Saturday, this past Saturday. And, um, oh, she just loves us. <laughs> when I go over there, she's always giving me fruits and vegetables from her garden or um, she may get a cake or something. She's like, Tracy, I have a cake. She gives me food. I mean, she's always blessing me with something when I go over there. And I try to go um, at least once a week while the project is going on to make sure everything is going correctly. Mm -hmm. And she always blesses me with something. Oh, <laughs> and so nice. it, it means a lot to me. It really does. Yeah. It really does. And um, besides with visiting the the construction site often, how does T Melbourne Construction maintain good relationship with your clients? We make sure that we communicate with the clients because that's a huge aspect in um, construction. Clients want to be abreast of what's going on, how long it's going to take their project to be completed, what is the next step. So we make sure that we communicate with them. Um, and, and we also make sure that we stay within budget. Um, sometimes unforeseen things can happen that may put us over budget. Um, of course, we discuss it with the client before we proceed. Um, but we just try to make them feel as comfortable as possible during the process. Great, great. 
And beside that, what does what set T Melbourne Construction aside from from other company? What set you apart from other companies? I would say we go far and beyond the call of duty for our clients. Um, for instance, I have one client that I'm working with now who needs a full home renovation, and she can't stay in the house. So me being a realtor, I helped her find a place to stay until the renovations are completed. So I think going that extra step sets us apart from other companies because believe it or not, construction companies have bad names. Right. Contractors have bad names. They say we're never on time. They say we don't complete the work right. They say, I mean, they say all, all sorts of things about us. And it's my goal to dispel that myth. That's nice. I, I can say some crazy stuff about the construction <laughs> that's going on in my neighborhood right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of things a lot of things impact progress though too, because sometimes you have bad weather, you know, again you run into unforeseen conditions. Some things we can control and some things we can't control. Absolutely. And how how do you control the quality and the reliability of your project? Well, as far as quality is concerned, we make sure we use the best products, okay? And we also offer a warranty, so we guarantee our work. If it's not correct, we'll come back as many times as it takes to get it corrected. I try to hire the best people. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 are going to get the job done, um, that are going to come to work and be on time. Um, so we're pretty reliable. You can can bet your bottom dollar <laughs> that we're going to get the job done. Yeah, absolutely. At the end of the day, you rely on your team, and you if you have good people working for you, then the job will be done right. I think I saw maybe on your website somewhere that you, well, through our conversation, that you support local suppliers. Yes. And besides besides helping with the, the community through Renovate Norfolk and strengthening neighborhood, you also support the local, local suppliers. Supplier. Yes. Yes. And so a lot of the mom and pop shops yeah. um, or the, um, you know, of course we use home. Depot and Lowe's because they are the biggest suppliers. However, if I can get it from a local shop and the and, and the products is just, the quality is just as good as Lowe's or Home Depot, of course, I'm going to go to them. Awesome. And are you pretty much local in Virginia? Are you uh... right now? I am just Virginia. Um, I can I can work in North Carolina. Uh, Florida and Atlanta, but right now my business is just in Virginia, Ma mainly in in the local area. Yes. Well, I I go I, I go I I'll go to Richmond. Um, I've I've been as far as Northern Virginia, which is almost to Washington D.C., so about three hours out. That's nice. So for the for those who are looking for a construction company uh, in Virginia. I, they they can look up your company, T Melbourne Construction. Yes, ma'am. And what are your future goals? And we talk about this a little bit. What are your future goals for T Melbourne Construction? Well, my future goal is to expand T Melbourne Construction and uh, have a actual product. So we are now working on creating products for women in construction. So um, I'm talking about hard hat, tool bag, uh, uh, handheld drill, mm -hmm. um, safety glasses, uh, things of that nature. Because a lot of things that are, because it is such a male-dominated industry, mm -hmm. just about all of the gear that's made for construction is made for men. Mm -hmm. So women have a hard time with the hard hat fitting on their head because our heads are typically smaller. Um, same thing with the clothes. So the goal is to have a full line of um, 
construction tools and apparel um, for women and men. <laughs> so I would like to have everything from a screwdriver all the way to a bulldozer. <laughs> are we going to have a all pink screwdriver? A, that's right. We are. We're going to have a pink screwdriver. Awesome. <laughs> that, that sounds exciting. Yes, I I'm, can't wait to see that. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, I know you share with me some of the products that you have already. Yes, yes. So right now I have... Um, safety glasses, I have a hard hat, and I have a toolbox that I've created. Um, and these are for women. Nice. nice. And how do you envision the growth and the impact of your company in, in the Virginia, Norfolk area in the next four or five years? Well, in the next four or five years, I hope to expand into different markets. Um, not only with T Milburn Construction, but with T Milburn Pro Tools as well. Um, we would like to do larger commercial projects and possibly do some government contracting. That's, that sounds amazing. <laughs> and how can potential clients get in touch with T Milburn Construction? They can go to our website, which is tmilburnconstruction.net. They can email me at info at tmilburnconstruction.net or they can reach out to me at 757-358-3279 and all my social media is tmilburn construction. Awesome. Very good branding. Thanks, Strategy. <laughs> and we'll have all that in the description below. Thank you so much, Tracy, for joining us today. And um <laughs> It, your your journey from like commercial mortgage and and all the the story behind team over construction is is very really impressive, and how you reinvent yourself over and over again to uh, always come come out ahead and and come out winning as a company as the business owner. I just want to commend you for that, and you are a great example out there for many women who. Actually, want to be in the construction. So, thank you, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. And I have a little gift for you. If you don't mind, <laughs> I tried to sleep. I was like, "Who put that mouth in there?" I have a coffee cup for you. Oh, awesome! Thank you. And you said, "Team Melbourne Construction." You know, awesome. I would use this. It's not a Stanley cup, but oh, it does I, the same oh, thing. I, <laughs> I go to the chair. So, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, wow. I would definitely use it through open construction. Thank you so much, Tracy. And um, you all, thank you for tuning in Mastery Podcast. And if you're looking into construction company, especially in Virginia, look up T Melbourne Construction. Until next time, Dr. Sass signing off for Mastery Podcast. Thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you, Dr. Sass. It was nice. a pleasure. Nice. <laughs>